the day. It's the 24th of June already, 2021. Beautiful day here in Stafford, beautiful day at Quantico. This is going to be on a question that I've got. It's a good question. Uh, the quality of life at the academies. Not so much what you're gonna study, but like what are the facilities like? What is the food like? What is the PX like? Um, what is the gymnasium like? Should you bring your car? Do you get leave to visit your family during your long training? I will seek to answer these um, in this very brief video. And so I don't ramble on. I've got, I have to use PowerPoint. Otherwise I just start and I don't stop. So um, it's a good presentation. Okay, so this is going to be a comparison of uh, the quality of life at the three academies. My opinion, and again, this is my opinion only, of the Federal Law Enforcement Training Center at Glencoe, the FBI Academy, and the DEA Academy, which is, I have been to all three. I have trained at Glencoe. I've trained and went through the FBI Academy from November through January, end of January 86. And uh, I've witnessed and been to the DEA Academy many times. But the, the information in here, again, it's, it's my opinion only. And of course, the first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna enter on duty. If you're with DEA and FBI, you enter at the divisional office nearest your home. I think if you're the Secret Service, they report into the Rowley Training Center in Laurel, and then the class is sent to Glencoe or Artesia, depending if they're uniform or uh, special agent. I think the marshals, I think you will report to the nearest office and then go to uh, Glencoe. Now travel to the FBI and DEA Academy, it's always on a Sunday afternoon, they will not accept you before that. You report in, you're given ID badges, a room assignment, you go to dinner and then to orientation. And I think also with Glencoe, if I remember correctly, I flew into Jacksonville and arrived on a Sunday. They want you to come in on a Sunday. They can't put you up before that. And the orientation will differ from one agency to another. Welcome to the agency. You know, in DEA, you're gonna be, meet your class coordinator that night, Sunday night, and he's gonna dress you down, basically. They're gonna yell at you a little bit. You're gonna meet your class counselors who are GS-13 special agents who have been assigned from the various divisions. And it's their job to observe you and to rate you. Uh, they will do written ratings on you at different times in training. And they're supposed to also encourage you. Now, the first night is not pleasant. You're gonna get all your books and the do's and don'ts. The FBI has a much more welcoming arrival. Uh, I have brought an, an, an agent who lived down the block from me in Illinois to the FBI Academy on a Sunday night. He was as nervous as can be. They were nice to him when he showed up. Fletzy, I think you get a stern lecture by your agency coordinator, and then they introduce you to your counselors and agency staff. Well, where will you live? Well, it's pretty much the same everywhere. Two trainees do a room, looks like this. You share a bathroom with an adjacent room. In the DEA, there's a TV in the room, which is good for replaying instructional videos only. It's not a good time TV. And then there's a big locker for your stuff, which is sufficient. And then a desk with a, you know, nowadays it'll have computer hookup and whatever you need, basically. Uh, and again, the, the bathroom is uh, adjacent. So two, four people to a bathroom, two toilets, a shower, two sinks, you know, you kind of got it. So. You know, not, it's more, you know, better than a, uh, better than the Marine Corps for sure, better than living aboard ship. And it was a lot cleaner than my college dorm room, okay? The first week, uh, the first day, the Academy sack and the muckety mucks will tell you how fortunate you are uh, to be there and warn you. And uh, then you have to get up and introduce yourself to set officials and uh, just be humble. You know, I'm Jim Benisek, I am from, the Chicago Division. I was a deputy sheriff for the DuPage County Sheriff's Department. I was working in a jail. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. My prior experience, I was in uh, the Marine Corps and the Navy. I've been through the Sheriff's Academy and I've got a degree in law enforcement from Western Illinois University. And I am humbled, humbled to be in the, your presence and the presence. I mean, I'm going overboard a little bit, but don't get up and brag about yourself, okay? They don't like that and they'll tear you apart. And they ask you questions about your background. The only question I got is, why do you go from one branch of the military to another? Not big. Okay, they issue you uniforms, and probably Monday or Tuesday you take your PT test. Don't fail. Now, when I went through, a lot of them failed because it was a new PT test, and uh, they had just transferred to 
uh, from Glencoe to Quantico and you know it was a totally different program and a bunch of them failed but um, okay day-to-day -day training it's more intense in some agencies than others it's not boot camp you know they don't well some of them I guess CBP does march you around but other than that you just got to be where you got to be when you got to be there expect morning to evening training and in DEA it'll be at night too and you have to study when you're off because you don't want to fail expect very minimal free time Firearms and PT rotate. They're usually the first thing in the morning. Uh, hopefully it's not in the late afternoon at Quantico or at Glencoe during the summer because that's really hot, you know. And don't worry about the gym. Somebody asked me about the gym. They're going to run you ragged. That's going to be the last thing you want to do is go to the gym. I only went to the gym twice on my own during the whole time I was at Quantico. And I didn't lose any physical conditioning at all. So... Um, you know, and that was just, you know, mainly to get, to do a little bit of running on Christmas, I think, just to get something to do. Okay, when do we eat? Again, this is my opinion only. Fletzy is number one. They've got two dining halls with multiple lines and a lot of variations. So you can go through one line and get a full meal or a hamburger or a salad, whatever you want. There's more variation because there's a lot more people there. The second is the FBI Academy, where the food is provided by Marriott. And it's pretty good, and there's two lines that you can go through. The worst one, in my humble opinion, it's a DEA, and they have the fewest number of trainees, and it's just a mess line, and it's not that great. But if you get the job, you know, you're not going to starve for sure, and you can buy snacks and whatever else. But uh, my opinion, Fletzy number one. FBI to DEA number three, but you get three meals a day, seven days a week. Okay, the facilities. Fletzy's like a small city. It's much like a military base. There's trainees from various agencies. And you can see here, they've got a little app that tells you where you can go and what you can do. The FBI Academy is a huge building with everything under its one roof, not one room, from the gym to the library to the bar. And what I would do at night, I would just take walks on cold nights through this huge building just to get exercise. And you can do that, it's, it's huge. Now the DEA is a much smaller building with everything crammed in. Not much room to escape, if you know what I mean. And I like to escape just to walk around or walk around the base, but DEA Academy, it's, it's just not that big, unfortunately, okay? What will you need? Uh, well, I'll tell you what to bring. And then the academies have PXs that sell anything you might need and anything you don't need. Uh, there's really no need to go off campus at all. Um, remember that FBI and DEA academies are located on an isolated part of the Marine Corps base, Quantico, and they sell the essentials and a variety of trinkets, you know, sweatshirts, mugs, all kinds of junk for your family you can bring back, but uh, there you go. And speaking of your family, what about your family? Yes, they're doing fine. They're doing better than you are. And since you're TDY, they can't accompany you. And unless you live nearby, you won't be seeing them because you don't get enough time off. And you can't get any leave except emergency leave, which is obvious. If somebody dies in the family, you can go home for three days or four days. It's like a military boot camp. But other than that, you're not going to get any time off. And when I went through the academy, I went through Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, and I don't know if MLK Day was a holiday back then, but it really didn't matter. All you got on the holiday was the day off. The staff was not around. You still ate in the mess hall. And basically, we just used it to rest up and because you, you do get sleep deprived. What I would recommend against doing, do not try to travel long distances. And I think we did have one long weekend, and they warned them, if you get on a plane and go back to Minneapolis or whatever, and you don't make it back, we're going to have you, you know, and do what we can do, you know. Um, should I bring my car? My advice, no unless you live nearby. If you do bring it, you're gonna have a lot of friends who want you to drive them off base. Your friends are probably gonna be heavy hitters, if you know what I mean. My opinion, it's better to stay on base, focus on your studies, get through the course. Uh, they will give you OGVs for your practicals, government cars, but, uh, you know, but, and again, at Quantico, remember this, you got 18 year old Marines like this guy who would love to ticket you or love to really get you for DUI and they're not gonna let you go. Remember, always keep focused on this, which is why you came. And remember, don't give up, help others. Remember, it's only temporary 
And remember, you can make it. If they hired you, you can make it. And that's it. You know, if you are hired, you have the raw material to make it through. So just remember why you're there. Remain humble. Help others. And you're going to make it. And I'll tell you this. I went through Marine Boot Camp. Okay. I went through the Army ROTC Advanced Camp. I went through the Sheriff's Department Academy. I went through the, the FBI Academy, DEA FBI Academy. And when I was done with the last one, I said, I am never going through another academy again. And that's not because it was worse than the others. It's just I've had enough of it. You know, I'm not doing any more entry level kind of training. So, um, and that is one reason why people don't want to transfer from one agency to another because you have to go through their training. And, you know, who wants to do that again, right? So uh, hopefully this has been somewhat useful and hope you have a great day.